Good evening. I would like to bring the September 15th, 2021 meeting of the Interbar Board of School Directors to order. Um, if you are planning or intending to speak at the public comment, please put your name in the chat now so that uh, you can be prepared. Ms. Caldwell, can we have a roll call, please? Thank you, Mr. Phelps. Mr. Fralinger? Here. Ms. Krajewski? Ms. Krajewski? She is here, Marge, but I believe she's having difficulty. Yes. Mr. Harris? Here. Mr. Goldsboro? Ms. Joseph? Here. Ms. Fagan? Here. Mr. Evans? I think he's also experiencing yes. technical difficulties. Here. Mr. Chabon? Here. Mr. Fell? Here. Okay. Um, at this time, can we have- I, I'm not. Um... Heavenly Father, please hear our prayer. Bless all schools, colleges, and especially the Interbar School District, and grant to this board in deliberations this evening the spirit of wisdom, truth, and knowledge. What is undertaken always be done in charity and in peace, and what we do might be for the benefit of others. All this we ask in your name. Amen. I pledge allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and strong. All right. All right. Thank you, uh, Mr. Evans. All right, moving on to uh, number two, uh, public comments. If you would please uh, state your name, keep your comments to five minutes. And Mr. Evans, if you can uh, tell, uh, tell us who's uh, first on the list. Uh, we do. The only person who has um, identified themselves in the chat is Amy Ferris. So at okay. this time, I will move uh, Amy and permit her to talk. All right. Ms. Ferris. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Thank you. Okay. Great. All right. Thank you. Uh, my name is Amy Ferris. I live at 1122 Pennsylvania Avenue in Prospect Park. As most of you are aware by now, I have been requesting that all school board meetings move back to in-person. I sent Mr. Phillips an email this week asking why we are still meeting virtually. I took the time to look at the websites of all 15 school districts in Delaware County. Chester Upland's website has not been updated, so we will take them out of the equation. We are the only school not having in-person school board meetings. So I checked all the 14 school districts in Chester County, and again, every one of them is meeting in person. Mr. Phelps' reply to why we are virtual stated, this is the most effective way to conduct business of the school district. Is it? Why are 27 other schools able to conduct their business in person? They seem to have figured this out during a pandemic with in-person meetings. Why can't we? Mr. Phelps also indicated that the school district is in, not in any violation of school code or the Sunshine Law, and that our solicitor has advised this is permissible. I went to the Pennsylvania School Board Association website and wrote down some key phrases from their document labeled guidance on remote board meeting attendance. The policy of many school boards contains a provision limiting the number of members permitted to participate remotely so that at least a quorum would be physically present at all meeting, meetings. This was intended and recommended as a safeguard to prevent the overuse of the policy in fulfilling school board director duties and to minimize legal uncertainty. This is why I have been saying this and why I'm pushing the issue. It is important to minimize legal uncertainty and remain transparent. It also states to stay compliant with the Sunshine Act, schools must ensure that accommodations are made available for individuals with disabilities in your school community. What is Interbear School District doing to comply with that law? And what about the members of the community that do not have access to internet? As per that same document, 
encourage virtual connection by the public, but consider setting up a physical location where the virtual meeting will be available for public participation for those individuals in your school community who may not have ability to connect online. Ensure that an individual such as school board, such as the board secretary, board president, or superintendent is physically present at the advertised location to set up and start the virtual meeting, call it to order and take the roll call. Consider whether the board president and superintendent should also be physically present to preside and exercise control over the meeting and maintain order among anyone physically present. The PSBA recommends that should a school board want to host virtual school board meetings during this never ending pandemic, that there is a physical location open to the public for participation with at least one member of the board present. The Pennsylvania government website, Office of Open Records also states, last year, the legislator passed Act 15 of 2020 in response to the COVID-19 emergency declaration. Part of the act addressed public meetings by allowing the use of internet-based platforms and social media to facilitate electronic or virtual gatherings. With the lifting of mask and occupancy limitations related to the COVID-19 emergency, all agencies should return to pre-COVID status with respect to public meetings and the expectation that meetings will include a physical gathering that allows for public attendance, observation, and comments. The government of Pennsylvania is telling you to have physical gatherings for your meetings. And even though the mask mandate is back, the occupancy limit is not. How can you sit there as a school board at home when you've encouraged our teachers, staff, and students to return in person? Why is it okay for them and not for you? There can only be a few reasons why. Someone on this board is scared. Scared of COVID or scared of public crowds. I'm sorry, but the rights of the community members does not end at your fear. There must be a lack of transparency. You may be complying with sunshine laws, but when we have virtual versus public meetings, we are missing observation. We miss out on community support and opposition in community support or opposition in real time life and comfort. Sure, it's a lot easier to have these board meetings on Zoom from the comfort of your home, but your elected officials, we the community have placed you there. The solicitor may have given you permission to continue doing what you're doing, but, but she did not elect you to your position. We did, and we want you to join the rest of society and other schools across the counties figuring it out and return to in-person meetings. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Ms. Farris. Uh, we appreciate you uh, sharing your concerns and thoughts with the board, and we will uh, take it under advisement and have a discussion on it. Uh, do we have any other, uh, anybody else on the list, uh, Mr. Evans or Mr. Island? We do not. Okay. All righty, uh, moving on to uh, number uh, three, Mr. Evans. Yeah, just let me check, uh, how's my sound? Pretty good. Okay, um, so I apologize for that. Uh, don't know why I dropped off, um, but now back. Um, motion 3.1, that the following minutes of the regular meeting of the Interborough Board of School Directors held on August 18, 2021, be approved. Second. Motion has been moved and seconded. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 8-0. And next we will hear from our uh, solicitor, Mr. Cupio, for solicitor's report. You're muted. Thank you, I apologize. No problem. Uh, good evening, uh, board members and members of the public. Uh, the September uh, 2021 solicitor's report uh, can be summed up uh, fairly succinctly in that it has been uh, a whirlwind of month, uh, a whirlwind month of legal activity with regard to uh, the status of COVID mitigation measures. And we are working very closely uh, with the administration uh, and any questions that come from board members to make sure that we are in compliance with the law uh, as the law stands. Uh, these are all issues uh, that 
could change with rulings in, in, due to several cases that are uh, going on uh, over the over the last few days and the next few days. So clarification uh, could come in the near future on some of the questions uh, that have been raised. So that would be my September report this evening, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pupio. We appreciate that. Okay, moving on to number five, Mr. Evans. From the Office of Finance, motion 5.1 that the Treasurer's report for the month ending August 31st, 2021 be approved. Second. Motion has been moved and seconded. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 8-0. Next motion, Mr. Evans. Motion 5.2, the fund disbursements in the amount of $11,115,221.28 be approved. Second. Motion has been moved and seconded. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 8-0. Um, do we have any correspondence, Mr. Evans? No, sir. Okay, and uh, we are moving on to number seven. <clears throat> we have uh, you're up first there, Mr. Evans. Capital improvement. Okay, capital improvement committee uh, met on September seventh, twenty twenty one, at six o'clock to take uh, to receive presentations from three different architectural firms who were uh, providing con conceptual uh, renderings and plans. Uh, towards the capital improvement uh, program. In, uh, in, in attendance from myself, Justin Stone, Ed Harris, Ed Harris, Superintendent Riley, Mr. High School, Mr. Galloway, and the engineers from Dewey. Presentations were provided by the Breslin Group, the Schrader Group, and KCBA Architects. All three, we felt the, the three committee members that were there, along with the uh, staff, that, the administrative staff that was there as well, and engineers, all concurred that uh, the presentation that seemed to most uh, match our uh, desires and um, plans for the high school were KCBA. We also felt that their lead, Mike Kelly, was the best uh, face to put on the project towards our uh, community stakeholders and um, people in the, in the community that we'd have to be engaged with. Uh, so we all agreed after going through the assessment tool that was provided by Dewey Engineers, uh, we all agreed that KCBA should be the architect selected. So we're making a recommendation to select them as our architects, that doesn't go any further towards um, selecting the project, um, creating the finance, uh, or anything else. Uh, it's just simply the architect we thought close was the closest fit uh, for our community. Um, we did, however, go through uh, a couple of documents, including uh, a conceptual budget as well at for for admissions and renovations, as well as uh, planned concepts. And as a, a subcommittee, we were recommending that um, if you guys, if the other uh, committee members as well as the other school board members, or yeah, school board members have had an opportunity to look at those documents, uh, we were recommending at least uh, pursuing the uh, larger part of the package, which was the infrastructure, the, the much needed infrastructure improvements, improvements along with uh, the first uh, five items on the uh, conceptual plan uh, for renovations to the high school. Uh, I hope you guys get a look, a chance to look at the KCBA's renderings and plan concepts, as well as schedule and um, get a look at those, those at least those five items on the uh, con conceptual plan and uh, weigh in on those after we decide the, fin the financing for said project. Um, with that, uh, we, con we concluded our meeting and are certainly willing to talk more on the topic and um, hope to move it forward. 
That's it. All righty. Thank you, uh, Mr. Evans. We appreciate that. All right. Moving on to uh, number eight, Mr. Evans. We're okay with that? Yes. From the Office of Personnel, motion that the following personnel actions be approved 8.1 to 8.10, ending on page five. Mr. Shabon. Second. Motion has been moved and seconded. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Just a quick comment, Mr. Phelps. Yes, Mr. I brought it up at work session. I wanted to bring it up now for the public. If anyone is interested in being a van driver, a bus driver, working for transportation, I'm sure people have been watching the news um, recently. There's a bus driver shortage. So if there's any interim resident that is wants a job, um, I'm sure Mr. Criscolo and the transportation department um, would be happy to have you. So um, I think starting bus driver rate is $19. So if you want a job, Interboro is here. Thank you, Mr. Chauvin. Any other comments? Okay, hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motions carried 8-0. Next up, Mr. Evans. Aye. Motion with the red that the following retirements be approved. 9.1, Barry J. Cunningham, custodian at Tennyson School with 30 years of service to the district be approved retirement effective October 1st, 2021, and Don Stewart, math paraprofessional at Prospect Park School with 13 years of service to the district be approved for retirement effective September 3rd, 2021. Second. Motions have been moved and seconded. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motions carry 8-0. Next up, Mr. Evans. Aye. For the Office of Curriculum and Instruction, motion that the buying items be approved 10.1 to 10.9 on page 6. Second. Motions have been moved and seconded. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motions carry 8-0. Aye. Next up, Mr. Evans. From the Office of Special Education and Pupil Services, motion to the following items be approved, 11.1 to 11.8. Second. Motions have been moved and seconded. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motions carry 8-0. Next up, Mr. Evans. From the Office of Technology, motion that the following items be approved. Motion 12.1 and 12.2 on page 8. Second. Motions have been moved and seconded. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motions carry 8-0. Next up, Mr. Evans. From the Office of Facilities, motion that the following items be approved, 13.1 and 13.2. Second. Motions have been moved and seconded. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 
opposed? Motions carry 8-0. Next motion, Mr. Evans. Motion 14.1 and that the following that the board of school directors approve the rental agreement with Penny Bowes for the Centro Steel Auto Machine. The rental agreement is for 16 months commencing October 1, 2021, and ending September 30, 2026. And it would be made on a quarterly basis of $464.40 per quarter for a total annual payment of $1,857.60 to be paid from district funds. Second. Motion has been moved and seconded. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries 8-0. Next motion, Mr. Evans. Motion 15, the board authorizes and directs the solicitor to initiate and prosecute tax year 2022 real estate tax assessment appeals undervalued real estate. The board authorizes the direct solicitor and the district real estate appraiser to determine the appropriate assessments to appeal without consideration of the property type in accordance with district standard methodologies that have been approved by the executive director of operations business, business administrator. Second. Motion has been moved and seconded. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 8-0. Next motion, Mr. Evans. Motion 16, that the Board of School Directors approve KCBA Architects as the architectural firm of record for the Universal District. Second. Motion has been moved and seconded. Are there any questions or comments from the board? Comment? Yes, Mr. Evans. Just as a point of uh, uh, importance, um, this does not um, give the architect a contract per se. It doesn't give them any right to incur cost. Um, it just gets them essentially in the queue uh, to provide architectural services once we do provide uh, uh, financing and direction on uh, the capital improvement project. Thank you, Mr. Evans. Any other comments? Yes, sir. Okay, hearing none, uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 8-0. Do we have any uh, old business that needs to be addressed? Do we have any new business that needs to be addressed? Okay, this time we now hear from our uh, superintendent, Ms. Ryan. Thank you, Mr. Phelps. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I would like to welcome everyone back to school, uh, especially our new families who are just joining the Interborough School District. I hope everyone has had a wonderful start to this new school year. Uh, I just want to direct parents and remind them that we have back to school nights coming up. The kindergarten already had theirs. And to please look for communication from your building principal and teachers uh, for those virtual back to school nights. Um, as Mr. Chavon said, the district is experiencing a shortage of bus and van drivers as our school districts across the county and the country. Uh, we recognize that there may be delays and drop off times and changes to the bus schedules, especially for the afternoon runs. Uh, I do appreciate our parents cooperation and understanding as we develop solutions to this, knowing um, that it may take us a little bit of time. Uh, if there are any parents out there who are interested or you know of anyone who would be interested in any of the driving positions. Um, we also have other available jobs and I'm gonna name a few of those. Um, please feel free to visit our website and look for the employment tab. We have availability for instructional assistance, personal care, care assistance, substitute uh, nurses, LPNs and RNs, and also with food services, playground assistance. We do have a lot of uh, availability for um, folks to come in and join our Interborough family. Um, so please check out the website. 
Uh, I would like to let everyone know, as you're probably aware, fall sports are in full swing. And I want to encourage our families and our community members to please, again, visit the athletic uh, page on the website and come out and watch our student athletes play. Friday night football is back. We have a lot of home games coming up. So we would really, really love to see everyone out there. And I'm looking forward to seeing everyone as well. And of course, I want to congratulate our two retirees, Donna Stewart and Barry Cunningham in their retirement. I will tell one quick story about Barry Cunningham. So when I was hired many, many years ago as a long-term sub, I had a weekend to, I was hired on a Friday and I was starting on a Monday. And Barry Cunningham was nice enough to open up Glen Olden School for me for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, so I could come in as a new teacher and get my classroom ready. So I will always remember that, and I want, want to thank Barry for doing that for me, and I do wish them well in their retirement. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Ms. Riley. Do we have any comments from any of the board members? Okay, hearing none, the anywhere school district will continue to hold all future meetings remotely until further notice. Please visit the Inneborough School District website at www.inneboroughsd.org for further information. <clears throat> On Monday, October 14th or October 4th of 2021, a finance committee meeting will be held at 7 p.m. The next work session of the Inneborough Board of School Directors will be held on Tuesday, October 19th, 2021 at 7 p.m. The next regularly monthly public meeting of the Interborough Board of School Directors will be held on Wednesday, October 20th, 2021 at 7 p.m. Thank you all for coming. We appreciate your time. Meeting is adjourned.